<laughs> Salud familia, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm looking at my YouTube stats and my most popular video is the best DSLR microphone. You see, the exact title is the best DSLR external microphone for the money. I did it in January 2016, but and it's about this microphone. But I realized this is not the best microphone. Let me explain. The best microphone, now that I know more than I did in January 2016, is the microphone you have available. The best microphone you have available to you at the moment. Now, I've been using this microphone for a long time and I still love it. It's good because I will tell you why I love it. It doesn't require a battery. The, quali the audio quality is good. The price is inexpensive. It's, it, I think it's about $60 on Amazon. I'm gonna drop the link below. When you have it close, so for blogging, when it's close to you, it's amazing. It's it's beautiful. The audio quality, and you can you can tweak it in post production, and it's beautiful. However, I have a new setup. Let me show you. The tripod is right there, and the audio quality wasn't the best. Maybe it was too far. I heard a lot of the background noise. The hitch. So I start playing with the settings in the camera, and one thing that I learned is. Well, first of all, you want to have the audio source as close as you can to your mouth. But the, the one thing that I learned is to lower the... So for each microphone that you use in your camera to avoid the background noise. Because when I did this video, a lot of people complain about they're having the background noise in, in their videos. So one thing that I learned to minimize that is do you want to lower the audio in the camera. So what you do is you turn the camera on. You look the audio settings, so you have to turn the light, the, the light screen view on, and you will see the peak when it peaks. So if you do any peaking here, you will see when it goes up and down the screen. So when it gets to like yellow, green, you want to avoid any red. That's when you start, you find like the sweet spot for your microphone. So in this case, in my case, for this microphone, it was about, it, about an 11 for the distance. Now I'm using a, let me show you real quick, a Smart Lab. This is the best microphone for me right now. I am, I, I have this one fairly close to me. It's not the perfect setup, it's DIY. I am going to find a more permanent solution, but let me show you what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm doing is I hook up the camera, right? The camera is go, goes here, and that's my permanent setup. I don't move the camera from there. Actually, I don't use this lens. I use the 35 millimeter, but I use this one, 35 mil, which, you know what? I'm gonna do a video about how I shoot videos by myself. And I hook up the audio, and it's really nice. It's actually better than this one. But what I did is I, hooked up the, this one first. So I, I hooked up the camera the way I wanted it, in the position that I wanted it. Put the microphone and I recorded a few clips with the audio and I kept lowering the volume in the camera, but I couldn't get rid of the sh in a decent way. So I had to do a lot of post-production. The audio wasn't as clean. So I decided, you know what? I do have all the microphones in my arsenal. I have the Laugh Map, uh, this Smart Laugh Plus, which I, I love it. I use it for interviews, I use it for a lot of things. Again, it doesn't require any batteries. I pull it out, I got it out of the box. I have an Audio Technica um, that requires a AA battery. I have, I have all the ones. So I test them all, and the best one that I have right now is the Smart Laugh Plus. So use what you have, whether it's your iPhone, headphones, microphone, or a on-camera, like a road mic, mic, a video mic, or a smart lab, whatever you have available at the moment, learn to tweak the setting. Don't, don't just plug the microphone in the camera and hope for the best audio possible, but look at the levels. See, that, that's something, you know, I used to just plug the microphone, to hit record, and hope for the best. 
But now I'm paying attention to other things. And one of the, these steps is the audio levels. If you put a new microphone, check the audio levels. If you're recording a new location, check the audio levels. So when I plug the smart lab, I check and see how low I could go in the current situation that I am. And right now, I'm at eight. And the background noise is minimal. I can tweak it in post-production, and you barely notice it. It's more clear, it's beautiful, I love it. Anyhow, Smart Lab is the best microphone that I have right now. What is the best microphone that you have right now at your disposal? I would love to know. I hope this video helped give you some insight on uh, tweak a little bit your audio on your camera because this doesn't have to be for a D5300. It could be for any camera. Just sit down, play with the levels a little bit until you end the microphone that you have, until you find the sweet spot. You know that yellow, green area. Don't You don't want your levels to pick to red or, or the meter to, have to pick to red. And if you don't have a LCD and a, a way for you to monitor the levels, then it's gonna take you a little bit longer. The only thing you have to do is go to the camera, put the settings on, let's say 10, record a clip, say, this clip is in, is in level 10. Stop, record another one at 11, go back to your computer and listen, and you know which level it is based on what you say on the video. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but it works. Anyhow, I hope this video helped. Let me know if it did. Let me know in the comments down below what you like about this video, what you didn't like, what video you want me to create next. And as always, my name is Angel Anderson. I hope you're having a fantastic day. The best day ever. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.